to share a few updates with you and a few other little extra tidbits. And notice I'm in front of a different background today. I'm in space. Let me show you. I'm in space today. Yes. So yeah, I'm in front of a different background. Not saying this is going to be my new background. I'm just saying that it's for this video and you'll find out why shortly. The beginning of this video is going to be um, something that I have tried to record for you guys. Like, this will be the third time I've tried to record this video. That's why it's been a while since I've had a new video out. Because I can't decide. I'm, I like watch the video and I'm editing it. I actually got it edited all the way. I only had one more thing to put at the end of the video that I needed to edit. And I was like, this video sucks. This is not going to work. I, I just, I couldn't do it. So this is the third time I'm recording this video. I've been super busy lately. I've had a lot of holidays and birthdays to celebrate with family and just a lot of crazy things. A couple different things kind of came through the pipes for me and my art and I'm pretty excited about that. And I want to talk a little bit about my art and what I've done lately. I've been super busy, so I've been on the road a lot. So I have done something that I really find fun, which is I create art on the go. And how I do this is I take a um, little watercolor paint palette with me everywhere I go and I stick a thin little paintbrush in there and I close it and that is my paint palette and my paintbrush and then I take a little water bottle about this small that I've cut the top off of which I'm going to show you all these things in just a moment but um, I take that with me I put water in it at a time I take these amazing I think they're micron but I'm going to show you in a minute these amazing brush tip markers. I love them and they're waterproof. So what I do is I use a mechanical pencil and I sketch out what I'm working on and uh, like whatever art I'm trying to come up with. And then once I have the sketch done and I'm like, yeah, this is cool beans, this is like close to what I want. Then I take the brush tip marker and I just draw line art over that. And then I let that dry and I take my kneaded eraser, which I'll also show you that. And I erase the kneaded eraser and then I take the watercolor paint and I paint my watercolor over top of the line art. So yeah, this is what I take with me on the go to use for my paint colors and um, to mix the colors and to hold my little paintbrush. So this is like how it looks. Oh, let me turn it this way. This is how it looks, and I have my paintbrush stuck in here. Now you can't just stick any paintbrush in here because they're not all going to fit, because they're not really meant to fit in these. I kind of force it to fit, so I like put it in that little, you can see I put it right here, and then I just like force it shut, and then like you can see it kind of bows a little bit, just a teeny bit. But it's okay because I like to fit as many things inside of other things as possible when I'm traveling and we have been traveling so much lately with family like birthdays and stuff we've been in the van which it's his mom and dad my husband's mom and dad's van I've been in the van so much that I've really been crunched for time to do art and so instead of like just sitting there and listening to music I'll sit there and listen to music in the van and while I'm doing that I will paint and so I've got like I like put the paints on here in their individual little uh, slots and then the rest of the area I mix paint and as you can see I was experimenting with a different way to mix them and it wasn't really working that well so this isn't normally how this part looks it normally looks more pastel colors I stick my brush right inside there and then I close it right up and that's what I do with that I just throw this in my purse and I'm on my way this is my water container so this was a Fiji water bottle just one of those little mini water bottles not an advertisement for Fiji it just so happens to be one it could be any water bottle 
but I cut the top off of it so it would be more like just a cup. And you don't have to do it this way, I was just trying to recycle. And all I did to kind of like dull the corner, like all the corners were kind of sharp, so I put tape on it. Yeah, I'm weird, I do things a little differently, but whatever. <laughs> you can just go purchase a little plastic cup if you want. But I'm all about recycling and reusing things if I can. Basically what I do, I fill this up with water ahead of time, so I gotta hold this in my hand. I have my paint palette and my paint brush in my purse, and I put this in the cup holder in the van, and I can dip my brush into the water and get my paint and mix it, and I'm on my merry way. And the paper towels are helpful for getting a little bit of excess water off the brush, as well as after you dump your water out, you can put these paper towels in here to keep this from like, like there'll, there'll be like a little bit of water droplets in this, even when you dump it out obviously, and so that can kind of help like prevent water from getting all over your purse if you want to put this back in your purse. So that is an another way to do that. But if I'm home and I don't need a, such a small little thing of water, I use this for my my water canister. I use this, I don't know if it's bad to use like the same container for watercolor water as it is for acrylic water, but I do it. So I just now thought of that. I mean, if that's wrong, I'm sorry, I, I, that's what I do. But um, yeah, I just rinse it out when I'm done. Um, and be careful though, if you're using acrylics or something like that, if you're using oils, don't just let it go down the drain. Um, but watercolor, I don't I don't know, I just dump it out in the sink if it's watercolor, cause it's just, it, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, it's another thing I need to like research. But anyway, I use this as my water container when I'm at home and I have plenty of room. I use this huge thing right here, which is also a recycled thing. What do you know? I'm like obsessed with like reusing containers and I just thought it was really cute because it's like a cotton candy container and I just think it's adorable, so. All right, so the part you've all been waiting for, maybe, I don't know. Um, this is the brush marker that I use and I'll show an up close of it in a moment, but hopefully you can see that. Um, it is a Sakura, so I was wrong about the brand. It's a Sakura Pigma Brush Archival Ink uh, Brush Marker. And um, it says Micro Pigment Ink for Waterproof and Fade Proof Fine Lines. And it says Japan on it. This is what the tip looks like. Yeah, I'm really good at this, guys. But this is what the tip looks like. I also use, whenever I don't want the brush tip and I want more of like a, I don't know, like a pen and ink or like, I don't know how to describe it, but a more just a round brush or I mean a round line, not a brush tip. I use this thing right here, which again, I'll show an up close of it because this method isn't really working. Um, but yeah, it's totally different than the brush. And it is the Sakura Pigma Graphic 1. And it also is waterproof and fade proof fine lines. So those are my favorites when it comes to doing line art after I've done a sketch. If I'm not on the go, then of course I have other paint brushes that I will use for my watercolor um, in addition to that little brush. So yeah, I've got lots of paint brushes. These are just two more brushes I use. They were on my desk, so I was like, oh, I use those for watercolor too lately. So I thought I'd show you those. Also, let me do it this way. Also, okay. <laughs> also, I have these 
Cakes Jelly Roll 08 Sakura Japan um, white gel pens, I guess, and like I like to use them for accenting things in white, like little shines in the eyes, and like shines on the lips shines on the forehead or the hair or whatever I like to use this for that but I kind of want to try a different brand and a different kind because I'm not fully satisfied with this sometimes it's hard to get the lines to stay like solid you probably can't see this can you I don't know sometimes it just looks so like hollow in the center of the line and it bugs the crap out of me but um depending on what you're doing with this this is a great pen I just don't know if it's the perfect thing for what I'm personally using it for which is like white accents like sparkles and stuff like that and shines and shines what is this this what is my life I just got some of these at the craft store and uh, <clears throat> they're just like that brush marker that I showed you, brush marker pen, whatever the frig it was called. OMG. Oh man, you see that one? That one's pink. Can you believe it? Pink. That means I can make colorful line art now with this method that I've been talking about. So now I'm going to show you some of the art that I've created with this method. So when I'm traveling, I use one of these books. There's two different books here. Um, I usually I I usually use this size book because it's pretty small. I think it's a six by five, but I'm not positive. But um, but yeah, this is what it, this is. It's like basically as big as my face. If that helps. <laughs> so I typically use this when I'm on the road and yes I can draw and uh, do line art and paint on the road. I know not everybody can do that but I'm not trying to brag I'm just saying like I do it because I kind of have to. I also use this size for traveling. Yeah I know it's a regular size watercolor book um, it is 9 by 12 and I've noticed lately that I actually have the room to just prop this baby on my lap in the van and I'm good to go. I don't have to take the small one. The small one's great for just, oh, I just want to do a small piece of work and I want to do it really quickly. But this one's great for long van rides and there's been a lot of long van rides lately. so. Yeah, and this is some of the art that I've created with it lately, using that little method I was talking about. So you can kind of see what I've been working on. And I've done these in the car. In the car. So, if you don't feel like you can make time for your art, you can totally make time for your art. Um, it just takes practice to draw in the car, uh, just do it every day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about every day, but do it as often as possible so you can get better at it. And here is one that I really am loving that I did, uh, Saturday. So, yeah, I'm filming this on a Monday, so I did this day before yesterday. But yeah, so, using that method, did it in the car. Yeah, so there's that one. And let me show you another fave. Let's see. Here's another fave that I did in the car on the way to somewhere. I don't remember where I was on the way to when I did this one. Um. <clears throat> and I did this one not in the car. I actually did this one at my desk, but I wanted to do something small. So yeah, I did that one. I did this one in my studio. Um, yeah, so this is one of the first ones I did with this whole sketch dark line art and then watercolor over it method. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And I use a kneaded eraser to erase the pencil lines. 
after I do the, the line art. Or I have to let the line art dry before I use the kneaded eraser though. But let me show you the kneaded eraser. So this is the kneaded eraser. Um, it's just like, it's sort of like putty or play-doh or whatever ish or clay but I don't really know what it is to be honest but it's just it's an eraser and it's called a kneaded eraser because you like stretch it like this and like you push it back together and that kind of cleans it so that way you can use this eraser for a long freaking time I've had this eraser since like grade school or since like high school so yeah um of course, I haven't used it all that time. Like, I actually recently found it in my old high school stuff. And I'm using it now, and it works great. So these things can last a long time, and they can sit forever and then be picked back up again. And like, it's just, it's so fun to just stretch them and then push them back together. But yeah, these are awesome for just kind of erasing anything, like when it comes to art. Um, I don't know, like, the limits of these. I have no idea. I just know that they erase better than, like, those stupid erasers that are on the, on the end of, like, pencils. Like, number two pencils that you get. Like, those erasers suck. Have you all noticed how much those suck? Can't just be me that's noticed how much those suck. These are way better than those. So, yeah. I get you what I need. And no, I don't know the brand or nothing, because, like I said, I had this in high school. I'm 28 now, yeah, I'm 28, so I don't really remember what the heck this brand is, but it's awesome, highly recommend. Um, but yeah, that kind of concludes the main part of this uh, video. I just wanted to show that you can make art on the go, and that I love to make art on the go. I also sometimes will take the uh, travel supplies I showed you, and I work on my lunch break at my day job after I've eaten lunch, if I have time. So that's another thing I do. I think it helps a lot for me to do some kind of art in the middle of the day is so nice because I get so bogged down by like technical work and like I don't feel as creative as I would like to feel. So doing some of that on my lunch break really helps a lot and yeah, so have fun with it. The end of this video is going to be me blabbing on about a friend of mine who has started a little soap company and I really want to share with you some of her stuff. Um, this is not a paid advertisement or sponsorship. This is more like a partnership because she's going to share like my art if I share her soap stuff. So I actually am one of her customers. I was like the first person she delivered a basket to and it's like a cute basket full of soaps and yeah I love them. Um, I've already tried one of them so far. I just got it like yesterday so yeah I want to make them last as long as possible because they're so cute and they're, they smell so amazing. So give me one second, I'll be right back with the basket. Okay guys, so here's the basket and I've messed up her, like she had a whole thing. She had it looking gorgeous and of course me rummaging through it to like pick out the one I wanted to use first, like messed all of that up, but like, yeah. <laughs> so this is the basket, it's super cute. And she personalized like the color of the tissue paper to what she thought would look good with me and like my personality. She knows I love pastels, so she did really good with the pastel green. And she also handpicked this one for me. And it's a like galaxy, spacey looking kind. And well, let me show you this. Yeah, it's very glittery, sparkly, spacey, and mermaidy, <laughs> um, which is very fitting because her soaps are called Space Mermaid Soap, and it's just it's it's really cute. So anyway, there's that one, and um, I don't remember all the scents, but I do know that this one is Ocean Breeze. 
And this one has little seashells in it. Look how cute. Oh, baby. Uh, I need to focus on this. So you can see. Yep, little seashells inside the soap. So cute. I love it. Man, this is the best one. This ocean breeze smell is just amazing. So yeah, there's those. And then there's, I still have, I still have writing on my hand from earlier. So sorry about that guys. But she has a lot of these heart shaped soaps and they're so cute. And um, I'm just gonna show you these really quick because I forgot some of the scents because I'm spacey and I forget things. But uh, here's another one. And actually, the first one that I opened and started using, it smells amazing, it smells so fresh, and I will actually pop in a photo of it right here, right now, so you can see what it looks like, and it's also a heart-shaped soap. I posted this on my Instagram. And she also put in these cute little decorative flowers into the basket, and like, it's just so adorable. Several of these, and here's another heart-shaped soap. Mmm, this one smells so natural and delicious. <laughs> and uh, here's a lavender one. I love, I love, love, love lavender. And this one's also a heart-shaped soap. And then there's this one. My phone is being evil. <laughs> there's also this one, and uh, I really like, I really like it. Oh great, I got my lipstick on it. No! <laughs> but yeah, this is what this heart-shaped soap looks like. And she put in some seashells into the basket and they're just so cute. And the last one, and probably one of the coolest scents other than the ocean breeze is this one. And um, I forget what the top is called, but if you open this up, like I kind of pulled it down a little bit so I could kind of peek a smell. Peek a smell, what is that? I don't know, but I pulled that down and it's cinnamon and it smells amazing. It like almost smells good enough to eat, but I know you shouldn't eat it, but I wanna, but I won't, I won't, I won't eat it, I won't eat it. But yeah, so her, um, Facebook page is called Space Mermaid Soap, and her name is Delaney. And uh, I will leave a link down below to her Facebook page so you can go check her out. And don't forget, me and her are sort of partnering up and helping each other promote each other. So kind of look for her, you know, look on her page, kind of take a glance around, and eventually you might see some of my art pop up on her page. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. Um, like if you liked it, leave a thumbs up, and <laughs> subscribe if you're a new member at the party and you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet. Um, I'm really excited about doing more videos for you guys. I'm sorry it's been a while. I don't know what was wrong with filming this video. I just had to film it so many times. And the part with the basket, it wasn't even in there before. I added that since yesterday because I really wanted to. But yeah, the whole traveling and doing art for some reason, like I would film the video and it would just come off really silly. I don't know why. This one's kind of silly too, the way I talk and stuff. But um, yeah, it's all good. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, information about me will be the... Be, what? Information about me will be below. Um, and as you guys know, my website is MacyLou.com. Oh, update. So glad I thought of this. Very important update, guys. My new shop link for Store Envy is MacyLou.StoreEnvy.com. So it's no longer Kitten Carousel Dollies. My Facebook page has changed to Macy Lou Art. So nothing is going to have Kitten Carousel Dollies on it anymore. Nothing is going to have Kitten Carousel Dollies on it anymore. 
eventually. Everything is going to gravitate and, and gradually become just Macy Lou because I own MacyLou.com and it kind of only makes sense for my shops to be called Macy Lou. So I'm working on transitioning to that because that means I need to change all my business cards. Goody! <laughs> so I need to reorder some business cards because of that situation. Um, but yeah, I just felt like it was time to change the name to my name and just focus on art. And just because I'm focusing on art doesn't mean I'm giving up on the whole Blythe doll thing. I still have a ton of Blythe dolls. I still might sell one or two here and there as art dolls. So it's still going to be a part of me and my art and not just like focus on Blythe itself. But yeah, and I have a couple ideas for some Blythe doll videos coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. A lot of them have to do with like um, suggestions you all have given me on videos to do. So yeah, that's super exciting and I can't wait to get started on that. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm.